KX News Storm Team. Hello everyone and welcome back to KX News at 4. I'm meteorologist Hunter Binstock and we're going to take another look at satellite and radar. Now, clearing skies across much of North Dakota, the precipitation that we saw earlier this afternoon and last night is making its way out of the state through that southern border there and we really won't see much more for the next couple of days. We still have those weather alerts out there though. We have a winter weather advisory valid until Friday at 5 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. Now that's for that blowing snow more so than new accumulations at this, at this point and those 50 miles mile an hour winds. We also have a wind chill advisory that's going to be valid until Friday at 12 p.m. Central Standard Time for those temperatures 20 to 30 below zero. You could potentially see frostbite to exposed skin in 10 to 20 minutes. So if you plan on going out tonight or tomorrow night, make sure you bundle up, wear some gloves, wear a hat, wear some warmer gear. Dick uh, Bismarck's temperature right now is one degree, winds out of the west northwest at 16 and making that wind chill feeling like 19 degrees. Dickinson's temperature right now is in a similar story. Temperature is three below zero, winds out of the west northwest at 25, making that temperature feel like 28 degrees, so really cold out there towards the west. Temperatures for the rest of the state were in the just above zero range in the northeast. You get down to the central region, we start getting closer to zero, and as you get to that southwestern and western portion of the state. We're looking at temperatures below zero and the single digits below zero. Two below zero for our friends over in Wishick. Six below over there in Beach. Our wind speed and direction is primarily to the north northwest. Anywhere from the teens into the mid 20s across much of the state. 20 for Garrison, 19 for Bismarck, 22 for our friends down there in Ashley. Our wind chill report brought to you by Absolute Comfort Plumbing and Heating has those temperatures in the teens below zero to the 20s below zero across much of the state. And as you get further over there into the west and the south West, maybe getting closer to that 30 below zero range. Our wind gust forecast has those wind speeds in the 35s and 40s this afternoon into tonight, but you could see some isolated areas of those 40s and 45s. So if you need to do any traveling along I-94, maybe just take it a little bit slower and try to be safe out there. Well, as we roll into tomorrow, those winds really start to calm down, but we have another chance that those really strong winds come Saturday. We're looking at widespread 30s and 35s, maybe some isolated 35s and 40s in the morning hours. Now, as you push more into the afternoon on Saturday, those winds make their way across the state, seeing those 30s and 35s out towards the west. But as you look towards the east, you could see some widespread 40s and 45s. Sunday, the winds calm down once again. Our wind chill forecast for tomorrow morning has those temperatures in the teens below zero across much of the state, getting colder in that southwestern corner. Our wind chill forecast for tomorrow, or uh, sorry, Saturday morning, we're looking at widespread 20s below zero. And as we roll into Sunday, those temperatures finally come up quite a bit. Our precision cast really doesn't have much for Thursday afternoon. Friday afternoon is another afternoon of those like clear skies, not nothing too crazy going on, and Saturday is a similar story. When we run into Sunday, however, we have this signal out here for a mix of wintry precip. It could be snow, it could be rain, it could be freezing rain, so you're going to want to stay up to date with the KX Storm team. As we roll into Monday, there's another chance of it coming into that southwestern corner down there by Dickinson and Bowman. Our Williston five-day forecast has those temperatures in the single digits tomorrow, teens for Saturday, and rolling into Sunday and Monday, getting to the 20s, and warming up into the 30s by Tuesday. Now, you really can't see it, but we really start warming later in the week for all of these temperatures. Our Dickinson five-day forecast has those temperatures in the single digits into the teens, and then finally into the 30s for Sunday and Monday. Our Minot seven-day forecast has those temperatures in the single digits on Friday, Saturday into the teens, 20s and 30s from pretty much the rest of the week. And Bismarck is a similar story. Single digits for the next day, teens and 20s until the weekend, and rolling into those 20s and 30s for next week. So those temperatures are only going to continue to climb. Might see some winter weather still here yet, but overall, it's just really improving out there, Joel. Let's hope. I mean, I know you've been telling us get through these two bitter days here today and then tomorrow and then it starts to curb just a little bit and everything. We're hoping that'll happen. I'm pretty confident that it will happen. I'm not much of a betting man, but I'm pretty confident mm -hmm. that will happen. So you're betting $500 that we're going to see 30s by at least uh, Monday. So you're saying Oof. sunshine, uh, 30s, and you're guaranteeing this will happen. So all right, we That's got the money on the table. You heard it here pocket. first. I might, but, I might uh, do a buckaroo, but I don't know about $500. Uh. We'll make it five. All yeah, right, Hunter, okay. thank you so much. All right, stay with us. Coming up next, we can't control life the way we control